As a psychological scientist, and particularly a developmental psychologist, the theory or the approach that most informs how I understand humans and how they grow, how spiritual formation happens, how they develop, is a theory called relational developmental systems theory. It's actually a meta theory, um, but it's very helpful. It argues that human beings develop in context. So I am sitting in a studio that is in Fuller's campus, that is in Pasadena, that is embedded in all these systems. So from a developmental relational systems perspective, we always look at a human and the different systems in which they live. So you could think of a Russian doll and all the little dolls within the bigger doll that we all live in a different set of systems. So if you think of your own life, you've been influenced by your family, you've been influenced by your congregation, perhaps you were influenced by your soccer team, um, by your school, your adult life, you might be influenced by your work. Um, you were probably influenced by a pandemic. Um, there are different systems in our lives that impact us. The other component about developmental relational systems is not only that there's the systems, but that we are deeply related to them. So we like to use the word reciprocity. We always have to emphasize that there's give and take between person and context. So if we took a person in the church, we hope that the congregation would influence the life of the individual, but we also acknowledge that that individual influences the life of the congregation.